Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Thank you for joining. Ahorita les comparto la presentación. Give me one second. Está cargando todavía, permítanme. No sé por qué, pero esta actualización que tuvimos de Zoom, la siento bien pesada la actualización. Y no sé ustedes, pero a mí me, me ha puesto bien lento el, eh, todo, toda la parte del recurso que estoy compartiendo y en alguna forma como que está afectando. Pero I don't know. I don't know if it's me or if it's the, 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 the the update, pero no sé si soy yo en la actualización, pero así lo siento. Permítanme. Listo. Hoy sí. Bueno, chicos, I'm going to have a quick review of what we did yesterday, ¿verdad? Lo que vimos ayer. Y quiero ver, no está. Sí. Quito otra vez la cámara. Veamos. Ahí está la cámara. Como que la, la pone, la, la. Como que. De repente está, de repente se quita. Entonces, yo creo que es por eso que es la actualización que está afectando un poquito, ¿verdad? Ok, so let's go ahead and check, guys. And, and um, yesterday we were talking about adjectives, right? Eh, vamos a ver quién se recuerda. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo y cuál es el, um, cuál es el noun? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué es un adjective y qué es un noun? ¿Quién se recuerda? ¿Qué es un adjective, guys? ¿Qué es un adjective? Es the one who modifies the noun. Muy bien, it's the one that, porque no podemos usar who con cosas, ¿verdad? It's the one that modifies the noun. Very good. ¿Quién es Redmi Note 11? Creo que, the, the, the eh, ¿Quién habla, perdón? Isabel. Sorry, sí. Miss. I'm traveling by bus right now. Ah, ok, Isabel, pero solo cambie el nombre allí en el, en, el, en el dispositivo, porque si no va a aparecer con ese nombre y no van a, no van a ponerle su, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Su minuto de conexión, porque aparece como Redmi Note 11. Ah, ok. Dele, dele. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, que estoy escribiendo la Byron. Bye. Muy bien. Entonces tenemos acá, eh, decíamos, ¿verdad? We're talking about nouns, right? Uh, sí, no, no, Byron, no me han dicho nada. <ríe> y creo que usted habló el primer día, pero habló tan rápido que no, no, no entendí, le seré honesta. <ríe> Lo siento, pero sí, ajá, eh, de, 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 yo no, no, no estaba enterada. Perdón, Byron, disculpe. Oye. But thank you for letting me know. Gracias por avisar. Let's go ahead and see, right? We have here the, um, the, the topic. Y pues yo traje información adicional este día. ¿Verdad? De acuerdo al tema. Recordemos que hoy es jueves y hoy terminamos eh, la parte de 
la sección 3 y el midterm exam. We're going to have a quick review about the midterm exam, okay? So this was the grammar focus that we started yesterday, right? And we were saying that we have two different patterns, ¿verdad? Así como Isabel les estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? Y Isabel, recordemos, no podemos usar who con gente, sino que that, ¿verdad? Usamos that con cosas o oh, which, ¿verdad? Y solo con personas usamos who, pero ella, ella les dijo, it's a word that modifies a, a noun or that gives a description, right, or gives, you know, more details about it, okay? And also, right, we have the other word, which is the, um, which is the noun, right? So the noun in this case, right, it's a word that names a person, uh, a thing, or an animal, etc. Es algo que nombra, ¿verdad? Eso es un nombre o sustantivo, like in Spanish, right? So it's like uh, something that we use it to call, you know, or to give a name, okay? So let's go ahead, guys, and pass the attendance. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to pass the attendance right now, bear with me. Sorry, guys, que me tome más tiempo, pero como les digo, después de la actualización quedó así. Um, bueno, lo vamos a dejar ahí que se cargue. This is the exercise that you, that you worked on, right? A musician job is interesting. A musician has an interesting job, right? An athlete's job is interesting, right? An athlete has an, perdón, an exciting job, right? An exciting job. A lawyer's job is stressful, right? A lawyer has a stressful job. A security guard has a boring job, right? A security, uh, a security guard's job is boring, right? A photographer has a difficult job, right? A photographer's job is difficult. A police officer has a dangerous job or a police officer's job is dangerous, right? So those are the exercises that, no, aún no reina, ya voy. Está cargando la lista todavía. Uh, so those exercises are the ones that uh, you worked in the platform, right? So here you have the two patterns, B plus adjective or adjective plus noun. Esos dos son, son dos estructuras, dos patrones, perdón, que estábamos viendo el día de ayer. Hoy sí, chicos, ya cargó la asistencia. Veamos a Leida Arely, uy, permítame. A Leida Arely García Martínez. A Leida Arely. Andrea Marcela Olmedo Fuentes. Andrea Marcela Olmedo Fuentes. Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes. Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes. Eh, Byron Leonel Lozano Alvarenga. Christopher David Reyes Mármol. David Alejandro Avelar Hernández. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Elba Maricela Pérez de Mengíbar. Present teacher. Gracias. Elba Isabel Zúñiga de Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Alexander Mena Argueta. Present teacher. Gracias. Francisco Armando García Florentino. Giovanni David López Molina. Present teacher. Gracias, Henry Alexander Hidalgo Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Isaac Abdonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodríguez Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Joao Mauricio Villalta Sorto. Gracias. Juana Inés Velázquez Carranza. Present teacher. Gracias. Catherine Vanessa Blanco Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Linda Hazel Freman Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Marcia Beatriz Reyes de Manzano. Marcia Beatriz Reyes de Manzano. María Beatriz Coto de González. María ¿Qué? Beatriz. Gracias, María Beatriz. María del Carmen Guzmán Alvarado. 
present teacher. Gracias. Melanie Fabiola Cuella Rodríguez. Eh, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Gracias. Reina Noemí Vela López. Roberto Carlos. Al... Ah, gracias, Reina. Reina fue la que habló, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí está. Eh, Roberto Carlos Ardón Ramírez. I'm here. Gracias, Roberto Carlos. Rosibel Esmeralda Laine Salas. Presente. Gracias. Silvia Roxana Quintanilla Umaña. Presente. Gracias. Stephanie Yamilez Barahona Hernández. Present. Gracias, Tatiana Emilia Hernández Escobar. Present teacher. Gracias, Verónica Tatiana Chávez Cornejo. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Ok, ¿alguien más que sea agregado a la clase eh, mientras estaba pasando asistencia? Francisco Armando dice. Muy bien, Francisco Armando. ¿Alguien más aparte de Francisco? ¿Quién dice yo? Marcia Beatriz. Ah, vaya, Marcia Beatriz. Ahorita la agregamos. Gracias. Muy bien. ¿Alguien más aparte de Francisco y Marcia? ¿No? Vaya. Entonces vamos a seguir. Very good. So I'm going to share with you more information, you know, related to the topic, right? So as I was saying, yesterday we were working with adjectives, right? And adjectives, as your classmate Isabel shared with you, they describe nouns. Okay, so we can say something like, it's a nice day. She has blue eyes. It's a delicious pizza, etc. So we provide, you know, adjectives and we describe those nouns with the adjectives, right? Now, over here it says, it's a nice day today. Jessica has brown eyes. They are, no, there's a very old church in this town. Do you like Italian food? I don't speak any foreign languages. There are some beautiful yellow flowers in the yard, right? So take a look at the adjectives, okay? Do you have questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? Preguntas del vocabulario? about the first sentences, right? Nice date, brown eyes, old church, Italian food, foreign languages, and beautiful yellow flowers. Joao. La palabra foreign, ¿qué significa? Foreign, foreign es extranjero o extranjera. That's... Bueno, you're welcome, very good. Anyone else? No? Okay, very good. Just let me go ahead and continue here. Now, take a look at the order. Vean el orden, chicos. En inglés, primero, siempre, 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 van los adjectives antes que los nouns, ¿ok? Siempre. Adjective and noun. No vamos a decir they nice or eyes brown or church old. No. ¿Verdad? En inglés, siempre los adjetivos van antes que el nombre. ¿Ok? So, eh, the adjective is before the noun, right? They live in a modern house. Adjective plus noun. Have you met any famous people? Adjective plus noun. Yo no digo a house modern or people famous, right? I cannot say that. The ending of an adjective is always the same. ¿Verdad? Nunca, nunca, nunca pluralizamos a los adjetivos. Adjectives don't have a plural form. Yo no puedo decir... Uh, they are different places. No. I say they are different places. Lo que yo voy a pluralizar y lo que siempre se pluraliza son los nombres o sustantivos, pero nunca los adjetivos. ¿De acuerdo? So let's go ahead and be very um, careful, right, whenever we are using the adjectives, right, because um, we do not pluralize them. No los pluralizamos. ¿De acuerdo? So let's go ahead and continue here. Now, adjectives. Decíamos, chicos, que cuando usamos los adjectives, generalmente... Ah, bueno, es más, les voy a pasar esta información porque siempre les comparto esto. Bear with me. Ok. 
principiantes dos. Va a estar primero que les compartía y que les explicaba. Y ahora vamos con esto. Very good. Okay. Excellent. So here we have the adjectives. What happens with the adjective, guys? Well, actually, we have to we have to be very careful because uh, we we express adjectives or we uh, say things right about uh, and things etc. using the verb be. Okay. So for example, lo mismo hacemos en español, verdad? La niña es inteligente, verdad? El vestido es uh, bonito, ¿verdad? Eh, mi mamá es muy cariñosa, etc. Incluso en español usamos el verb be to express, you know, adjectives. So, examples here. We have verb be, am, um, is, and are plus adjective, right? So, the weather is nice today. These flowers are very beautiful. Are you cold? I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? The movie isn't very good. It is boring. Please be quiet. I'm reading. There you have an example. I'm hungry, <laughs> right? Eh, ¿Con qué más usamos, teacher, adjetivos? Usamos adjectives con algo que se llaman linking verbs. Linking verbs, okay? Um, so tenemos look, feel, smell, taste, and sound. Si ustedes se fijan, son verbos que tienen que ver con nuestros sentidos. Look, feel, smell, taste, and sound, plus adjective. For example, you look tired. Te ves cansado. I feel tired. Yo me siento cansada, ¿verdad? I am a graphic designer. Hmm, your job sounds interesting. This food doesn't smell good. Esta comida, pues, no huele bien. <laughs> the soup tastes delicious. The soup tastes delicious. Entonces, look at the example. You look tired. I feel tired, right? Cuando usamos estos verbs, look, feel, smell, taste, and sound, generally, we're going to find an adjective right after it, okay? Say, so, well, over here with the verb be, right, pretty much what we do, is that uh, we um, express, you know, characteristics of the noun using the verb be. Okay, questions, guys? Questions? Questions, preguntas, chicos. No? Clear? Bye. Okay, let's go ahead and put the words in the correct order, right? Vamos a trabajar entonces ahora algunos ejemplos. So, using the information in the previous two slides, en las dos eh, eh, diapositivas anteriores, right? You are going to put the words in the correct order. I'm going to give you. Mm, let's say it's four minutes, okay? Cuatro minutitos for you to complete this one. So let's go ahead and complete this exercise. Please let me know when you finish. También recordarles que hoy, pues, es último día para hacer la sección 3 y el midterm exam, ¿verdad? Procuremos hacerlo.
Si termina antes, me avisa, ¿ok? You can tell me, teacher, I'm ready. What's going on? Can you hear me, guys? Are you ready? Estamos bueno, listos. Bye. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and check. It says, in, well, the first set of words that we have is new live in house day A, right? Estamos poniendo en práctica dos cosas. Estamos poniendo en práctica A and N, right? Estamos poniendo en práctica singular and plural nouns. And, well, in number three, actually, uh, we're putting into practice nouns and adjectives, ¿verdad? So what would be the first sentence? How would the uh, next sentence be? Number one. Eh, Isabel? They live in a, a new house. Muy bien, they live in a new house. Very good. Uh, Henry, number two. I like this green jacket. I like this green jacket. Very good. Jacqueline, number three. Do you like classical music? Do you like classical music? Very good. Okay. What about the next one? Por ahí había levantado la mano alguien más. No sé quién fue. No. Okay, what about number four? Number four? Eh, Veronica? Dígame. Is Elena speak three language for game? Mm, pero foreign es el adjetivo, no puede ir al final. ¿A dónde lo colocaríamos? Oh. Eh, perdón, creo que alguien dijo ahí la respuesta. ¿Verónica? Mm, I don't know. 
No, vaya, ok, creo que uno de sus compañeros le ayudó, ¿verdad? Eh, y dijeron, bueno, Marcia, do you want to read it back? No sé si estás, está bien, vea, pero yo lo puse Elena Tree Foreign Speak Language. Mm, no, de hecho no. no podemos hacerlo de esa forma, ¿verdad? Look, recordemos que tenemos que seguir un orden, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es sí. el orden de los elementos que yo necesito? Primero necesito un subject, que es Elena. Luego necesito un verb, que es speaks, ¿verdad? Elena speaks. Y ya el resto, pues, es información adicional. Elena speaks three foreign languages. Habla tres lenguas extranjeras. Pero en inglés, primero escribimos el adjetivo y de, por último escribimos el nombre o sustantivo. So, Elena speaks three foreign languages. Okay, that would be the, the correct answer. Mm -hmm. What about, uh, in this case, the last one, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Number five. Number five. Uh, Henry. No estoy seguro, pero mm -hmm. escribí más o menos esto. There's a nice Japanese restaurant in the mall. Correct, right? There's a nice Japanese restaurant in the mall. That is correct, okay? So we have first the adjective nice. También tenemos otro adjective que es Japanese. Marce, pero Japanese es una nacionalidad. Correcto, las nacionalidades y los colores también funcionan como adjetivos porque están modificando a un nombre, en este caso restaurant, ¿verdad? There's a nice Japanese restaurant in the mall. Entonces, ¿eso quiere decir, Marce, que puede haber más de un adjetivo? Sí. Y más adelante van a poder también... Eh, Van a poder también descubrir un poquito más acerca de los adjectives, cuántos podemos usar, ¿verdad? Y cómo lo vamos a ordenar. Pero más adelante lo vamos a ver, ¿ok? So, questions, guys? Questions so far? ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? ¿No? Bye. Ahora vamos a otro challenge. Vamos a otro que es un poquito más retador, ¿ok? It's challenging. For this one, okay, it says there are adjectives and nouns in the box, but hay adjetivos y nombres. Use an adjective and a noun to complete the sentence. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentences, and you have to complete them by using one noun and one adjective. Va a escoger un nombre y un adjetivo para poder completar las oraciones o las preguntas, okay? Do you have questions about the instructions? For example, number one, it's already done. La primera ya está. Look, do you speak any? Y acá parece que ya tachamos foreign and languages. Do you speak any foreign languages, right? Entonces ya usé un adjective y un noun. Ahora voy a continuar con, la, con las demás haciendo el mismo, eh, usando, digamos, la misma eh, estructura. Okay, so I'm going to give you for this one um, four minutes again. Les daré cuatro minutos. Mientras tanto, me voy a levantar a cerrar la ventana y voy a traer un poco de agua. So give me one moment and your four minutes begin right now. Comenzamos. Bueno, no sé, quizás le voy a dar los cinco porque siento que son varias oraciones. Eh, y es de emparejar. Así que let's give you five minutes. Okay, your five minutes begin right now. Give me one moment.
Perdón, chicos, según yo estaba hablando con ustedes. Eh, les decía, quiero ver, porque esto ya se los compartí, ¿verdad? Solo voy a compartir eso también en el chat para que de un solo les quede y el otro también cuando lo hayamos finalizado, ¿de acuerdo? Ahí está, ya pueden seguir. Yo hago una, una consulta. ¿Qué yes. es la palabra clouds? ¿Qué significa? La palabra, perdón. Clouds. Estaba clouds. Ah, clouds. Clouds es nube. Nube. Okay, yes. yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dice Henry que ya terminó. Excellent. What about the rest, guys? Los demás. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Very good. Bye. Si es así, si alguno de ustedes ya terminaron, entonces let's go ahead and check the answers. So here we have, right, uh, number two. Okay, it says, look at those what, guy. What? Look at those what? Ver, uh, Verónica. A drag clouds. Muy bien, right? Look at those dark clouds. It's going to rain, right? So, yeah, lately, I don't know if you have noticed, right? It's very cloudy. And whenever, you know, the um, rain approaches, right? So, you can see dark clouds, you know, everywhere in the sky. What about number three, Henry? Long vacation. Okay, Susan works very hard and she's very tired, right? She needs a long vacation, right? Very good. Number four, Stephanie. What water? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. Hot water. Oh, okay, you need, you, need, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you need hot water to make tea. Very good. Thank you so much. Maria del Carmen, number five. Um, fresh air. Exactly. Can you open the window? We need some fresh air, right? Thank you so much. Okay, Jacqueline, to number six. Uh, I need a sharp knife to cut these onions. Very good. A sharp knife to cut these onions. Very good. And number seven, Henry? Dangerous job. Okay, fire fighting is a dangerous job. Very good, guys. Excellent, okay? So, as you can see, here we are using a noun plus adjective. I mean, uh, adjective plus noun, perdón. Estamos usando adjective plus noun. I'm going to share this one with you. Let me see. There we go, okay? Now, vamos a pasar a la otra práctica. Right? So we were saying that we use adjective. Nosotros usamos adjectives con estos verbos. Feel, look, eh, look, smell, sound, and taste. La primera ya está hecha. Por eso ya, ya tachamos acá sound y happy. Ahí va la letra S por si en dado caso estamos hablando de una tercera persona. 
¿verdad? O un eh, third person singular form. Entonces, como ya usamos sound and happy, aquí está la número uno. You sound happy, ¿ok? Now, you're going to continue with the rest. Ahora ustedes van a continuar con lo demás. For this one, I'm going to give you, ¿qué tal? Cuatro, si terminan antes, me avisan, please. Así como hace Henry que me dice, teacher, ya terminé, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's go ahead and work in this one. And your four minutes begin right now. Give me one moment. Is uh, already done. Is this uh, Isabel? Okay, very good. What about the rest of the magicals? Me too, is a Henry. Excellent. Okay, y los demás? Todavía no. Vaya. Okay, si no, pues don't worry. Let's go ahead and do it together. Lo vamos a hacer juntos, okay? Vamos a ver. Como no hay stand, dice Verónica, finished. Okay, Maria Camisa, I have finished. Bye. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two, guys. What will be answer for number two? Volunteer? Volunteer for number two? Uh, Henry, please. It looks new. It looks new, right? Yeah, because we're talking about third person singular, okay? It looks 
new. What about number three? Eh, quiero ver, eh, Verónica Tatiana. I feel sick. Okay, I feel sick, right? So we're using the verb feel and the adjective sick. Number four, eh, Isabel. You look surprised. You look surprised. Very good, right? You look surprised. Number five, Stephanie. They smell nice. They smell nice, right? We're talking about flowers. Very good. Sylvia, number six. Mm -hmm. It does the horrible. Okay. Decimos it tastes, right? It tastes horrible. 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 It's horrible. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. And let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the information. Okay. It says, these people don't agree. Complete the sentences. Use the negative form of the verb in parentheses. Do you look tired? Do I? De verdad? I don't feel tired. No me siento cansado. Si yo digo, chicos, this is a new jacket. Y ustedes me dicen, is it? Usando el verbo que está en paréntesis, como le digo, no parece una, una chaqueta nueva. How do you say that? Uh -huh. This is a new jacket. Mm, ¿De verdad? Pues no me lo parece. Ajá, Henry. Is it? It doesn't look new jacket. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look new. Just like that, right? Mm. It doesn't look new. Very good, okay? I'm American. Are you? De verdad, verdad? You, como estamos usando oraciones negativas, como diríamos, no suenas como norteamericano. Dígame, Verónica. You don't sound. Muy bien. You don't sound American, right? I'm American. Hmm. You don't sound American, right? You look cold. Really? Stephanie? I don't feel cold. I don't feel cold. Very good. These bags are heavy. Are they? How do we respond? How do we respond? These bags are heavy, are they? Hey, Veronica. They don't look heavy. They don't look heavy. That is correct, right? Are they? They don't look heavy. Okay, muy bien. That soup looks good. Maybe, but... What would be the next sentence? Uh, Henry. Maybe, but it don't taste good. It don't? Can I say it don't? It does. Doesn't. Muy bien. It doesn't taste, taste good. Muy bien. Excellent. That soup looks good. Maybe, but it doesn't taste good, right? Good job, guys. Excelente. I'm going to share this one with you, right? And now we're going to move to the last part, okay? What are we going to do right now? Well, we are going to uh, work with uh, the information in the final exam, right? No, perdón, in the midterm exam. In the midterm exam, uh, there, there is an exercise que es este que ya lo, hici, ya lo hicieron eh, durante una sesión, ¿verdad? Lo pudimos resolver. And it says write each sentence a different way. Este lo hicimos esta semana, ¿verdad? Say each sentence in a different way. For example, a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. Vaya, la siguiente, chicos. A police officer's job is dangerous. What would be the other way to say the sentence? ¿Cómo diríamos la siguiente? Ajá. Henry. A police officer has a dangerous job. Muy bien. A police officer has a dangerous job. ¿Verdad? A teacher's job is stressful. Okay. What would be the other way to say the sentence? Eh, Stephanie. 
a teacher house job is stressful. Mm, pero aquí estamos usando otra estructura. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Estamos usando adjetivo y nombre. En este caso sería a teacher has uh -huh, a stressful job. ¿Verdad? Un trabajo estresante. A stressful job. What about number four? A plumber's job is boring. Eh, Isaac y luego Henry. Ok. Este, uh, a plumber has a boring job. Exactly right. A plumber has a boring job. Ok. Number five, Henry, an electrician's job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. Yes, an electrician has a difficult job. Muy bien. Number six, a vendor's job is easy. Jacqueline. A vendor has an easy, an easy job. Okay, muy bien. A vendor has an easy job. Very good. Excellent, guys. Then, right, you uh, also... Um, worked in this exercise with me. Este también lo trabajaron conmigo, ¿verdad? Y pues la última parte que encontramos en la plataforma es 3.11. It says, by the end of this class, you will develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles, ¿ok? Este también lo hicieron acá en clases, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, uh, you read the, this uh, information, right? And then uh, we looked for the answers, right? So who say these things, verdad? We were reading the information. En ese momento lo leyeron ustedes, ahora se los leeré yo. Okay? So we have the information about Lisa Parker, okay? Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. That's Lisa Parker, right? And she's an actress. Then we have also John Blue, who is a video game tester. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. And then we have Becky Peck. She's a dog walker, right? Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for all the people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. And then finally, we have Carlos Ruiz. He's a teacher. And Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities. And of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Right? So also we resolved this one and we were asking who says these things? After I win, I take a break. Who said that? After I win, I take a break. I take a break. John Blue. Muy bien. En este caso, pues, it's John Blue. I don't usually work in the summer. ¿Quién lo dijo? Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz, because in the United States, they have a summer break, right? Number three, the restaurant closes late at around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker, and after work, my feet and arms are tired. Becky Peck. Becky, Becky, Becky Peck. Peck, right? Thank you. Now we have a knowledge check, right? And uh, es el que acaban de realizar, verdad? Ese, ese ejercicio que acaban de hacer is the instructions. It says, read the article. Who do you think might say these things, verdad? Y luego, pues, nos pasamos a lo que es el midterm exam. Now it says instructions. Listen to the conversation. 
and select the correct answers to complete each sentence, right? So here we have the first one, right? Uh, there are no two or three bedrooms. Eh, would you like to listen first? ¿Te gustaría escuchar primero? ¿O se recuerdan de las, de las, de las respuestas? Three, teacher. Eh, you would like to listen to the, to the audio. Three. Entonces no escuchamos el audio, nos vamos directo a las respuestas. Vaya. Ok, entonces, there are how many bedrooms? No, two or three. 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 Three bedrooms, ¿verdad? There are some chairs in the dining room, living room, or kitchen? Living room. Living room. Julia needs a microwave oven, refrigerator, or stove. Microwave oven. Microwave, microwave oven. oven, right? Very good. In letter B, in letter B, you have to complete the conversation, right? And the instructions say, um, complete the conversation, use the simple present of the verbs, right? Select the option that contains the words to complete the question and answer. Ese también lo hicieron pues en una de las clases conmigo. And all what we have to do is to pay attention to the auxiliary that we need, okay? So one, two, or three, guys. Two. That's how. Muy bien, ¿verdad? Does your apartment building have an elevator? Right? Good job. Yes, it does. Does. Okay, yes, yes it does. Number two. One, two, or three? Do, do the bedrooms <laughs> have, have, bedroom have, have closets? Do the bedrooms have closets, right? No, they? Don't. Don't. Don't, right? No, they don't. Then mm -hmm. in letter C, what we have to do is to unscramble the sentences, right? Este, sí, yo honestamente, I don't remember that you did it, pero creo que sí lo hicieron también, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. In class, okay? So unscramble the sentences. Number one, ¿cómo les quedó la número uno? There isn't there a isn't mirror, mirror in the bedroom. bedroom. Muy bien. The there isn't a mirror in the bedroom, right? Very good. What about number two? They are not pictures in the, in the hall. There are no pictures in the hall. Muy bien. There are no pictures in the hall, okay? What about number three? There are a any cartoon, card cutting. Muy bien, okay. Uh -huh. There aren't any are curtains in the dining room. In the dining room. Mm -hmm. there, are, there aren't any curtains, right, in the dining room. Muy bien. Curtains. What about letter D? It says, uh, select the correct words, okay? Uh, for this one, you have different uh, professions, right? So we're going to uh, complete them using one of those professions. And in this case, I would like to know, what about number one? A? Nurse. Nurse. Nurse in the hospital. Number two? Receptionist. Receptionist. Reception. Talks to people at a hotel, right? Number three? A judge. All day. Mm -hmm. A judge, right? Judge. A judge okay. sits judge. all day. Mm -hmm. Each, I mean, for this one, it's select questions to complete the conversation, right? So in this case, we have only the answers. Tenemos solo las respuestas y tenemos que buscar, verdad, las, eh, las preguntas oh. para completarlo. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and, and, and see number one. Number one? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where okay. Do you work? Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Number two. What, what does, what does he, do? he do? What does he do? He do. Muy bien. What does he do? What does right? He do? He's a firefighter. Number three. How do you? How do they like their jobs? Like job. Muy bien. How do they like their jobs? They hate their jobs, right? 
And in letter F, you are going to complete conversations too, right? And you're going to select the verb be or have in each sentence, right? So in this case, for number one, a singer has an accident. Has an accident. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting job. Yeah. Muy bien. A singer has an exciting job. Very good. Letter B. I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. Is boring. Is boring, right? Conversation two. A flight attendant has a stressful job. Muy bien. Has a stressful job, right? I agree. It is stressful. Is stressful, right? Conversation <clears throat> three. A cashier's job is easy. Is easy. Is easy. Is easy. Is easy, right? Is and easy. I disagree. A cashier has a, has difficult, a difficult job. <laughs> has a difficult job, right? Okay, guys. Good job. And with this, we complete. You know the 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 whole section three and also the midterm exam, right? So actually, uh, you had done great, right? Los felicito porque este pudieron eh, trabajar súper bien en los últimos eh, temas que hemos visto. Ayer lo siento, chicos, <laughs> que les di media hora de, de, la otra, de la clase de la otra semana. Estábamos hablando de comida. Pero fue porque el grupo anterior es el mismo que ustedes, el grupo que yo tuve ante el anterior. Eh, el día antes, ¿verdad? Que ustedes es el mismo nivel. Entonces había dejado la clase lista solo para abrir y abrir la que, la que tenía con ellos, ¿verdad? Así que ellos van esta semana en la sección 4, ustedes en la sección 3. Entonces al menos ya adelantamos el vocabulario para la, la otra semana, ¿verdad? Así que eh, nuevamente los invito a que revisen ese libro de vocabulario. Vaya, ¿cuántos lo han revisado? Levanten la mano. ¿Cuántos se han puesto a curiosear el libro que les compartí de vocabulario? Raise your hand. Yo pero, medio. pero sea honesto. Eh. Yo medio. Es. Vaya, muy bien, lo felicito. Miren, yo siento que con ese libro tienen hasta, hasta allá además, ¿verdad? Porque si lo revisan y si se ponen las pilas a estar revisando, por ejemplo, una página a la semana, digamos. No ni siquiera al día, sino que una a la semana. Y estarse prendiendo palabritas del vocabulario que está ahí. Ya van a ver que van a notar una diferencia en... en, en en, al final, ¿verdad? Del año, porque van a tener más vocabulario. Y Marcy, ¿cómo voy a hacer? Bueno, no sé cómo pronunciarla. Ya les compartí yo una aplicación, ¿verdad? Que es el Word Reference, que es un diccionario. Usted escribe la palabra y ahí le va a decir qué tipo de pronunciación usted quiere, si la quiere en North American English, si la quiere en British English, ¿verdad? Ahí se lo va a decir, ¿ok? Así que aquí me detengo, chicos, ¿verdad? Voy a pasar a asistencia solo para los que no me contestaron. Ah, de verdad, Isabel, lo, lo compré en físico. Yes, miss. Uh -huh. Sí, es, es algo carito, pero la verdad es que está bien bonito. Yo lo compré, ah, sí, les mostré, ¿verdad? Que yo lo compré, pero yo lo compré usado. Compré uno nuevo, pero el nuevo lo regalé, va a creer. El nuevo lo regalé, yo me quedé con este. Lo regalé a una persona que quería aprender inglés, así que yo me quedé con ese que compré cuando empecé a ser maestra, allá en el 2000. 2012, 2012 quizás y este librito lo compré y me gustó bastante así que lo forré aquí lo tengo como reliquia ok así que thank you so much la felicito Isabel qué bueno que lo compró vamos a ver Aleida Arely García Martínez <ríe> Aleida Present teacher. gracias Andrea Marcela Olmedo Fuentes Present teacher. gracias Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes Ashley Maribel, no vino. Eh, Christopher David Reyes Mármol. Christopher David, no vino hoy Christopher David. Ah. Y solamente, así que good job. Ustedes, este grupo, ustedes tienen una muy buena asistencia, chicos. Muy buena asistencia. Vaya, entonces los dejo. Thank you very much for joining today. And let's meet on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye. bye bye guys good night, good night. See, you night. Next see you next monday have a nice night thank you bye, bye guys bye bye, bye, -bye.